Hey, Claude Pallon here at Affiliate Starting Line. I'm going to do a short uh, video on the introduction of, uh, of another SEO guide. This is the Beginner's Guide to SEO from uh, SEOmaz.com. If you go to SEOmaz.com, you'll find a site uh, that will give you a, a lot of interesting tools to work online, some free, some paid. But they have this PDF that explains um, search engine optimization. Chapter one explains how search engines operate. And as you can see here, it says that uh, the four functions of a search engine are to crawl, to build an index, calculate relevancy and rankings, and then serve results. So those, you gotta understand that if you're building a site, that's, you're gonna be dealing with uh, crawling and indexing and providing answers um, in terms of how the search engines will deal with you. So crawling and indexing, uh, what they use for an analogy is a subway system. They imagine the World Wide Web is a network of stops in a big city subway system. Each page on your site is a unique stop and the search engines have to be able to cr crawl their way in, find it, and figure out what it's about. And so how do they do that? They crawl by following links. Links going in, links going out. So you don't get indexed unless you get a link. And uh, so the links are the streets and the paths that the crawlers are gonna use in order to find out where information is and what that information is about. Then once they find that, they can park it someplace, they parse it out and put it on servers, and when somebody types in a, a query that matches a piece of information they've gotten from your site, then they serve it up, and they hope that hopefully that provides an answer for somebody was looking for. Uh, so they mean, so you have to be able to be extremely relevant, and uh, what else does it tell you here? And, it, uh, and they measure the importance of what you have to say by the number of links that, uh, are established going to your site. So the number of, of uh, people and streets that are actually pointing towards you. And so they're looking for relevance and importance. So how do you get set up uh, for all of this? Well, there's another page right here that it shows you. This is what Yahoo looks for uh, when it is um, indexing the number of other sites that are linking to you, then the content of their pages, the updates made to the uh, indices or your pages, the testing of new product versions, the discovery of additional sites, new information, changes to the search algorithm and other factors, uh, what other, and Bing, certain SEO information from Bing Webmaster Guidelines. So what does Bing say they want? They want, in the visible page text, they want to include words. Users might choose as search query terms to find information on your site. They, they want to limit the pages to a reasonable size. We recommend one topic per page. An HTML page with no picture should be under 150 kilobytes. Make sure that each page is accessible by at least one static text link. And don't put the text that you want indexed inside images. For example, if you want your company name or address, it, make sure it's not displayed inside of a company logo. And then, of course, Google's guidelines. Google t says to make your page primarily for users, not search engines. Don't deceive your users and pull a bait and switch. Uh, they don't like cloaking. Uh, make a site uh, with clear uh, URL structure, clear hierarchy and text links. Every page should be reachable by one static text link. Use uh, useful information, rich site. They want good content and make sure that your site elements and alt attributes are descriptive and accurate. So if you're using type images and video, you want all the alt text to reflect that. Keep the links on a given page to a reasonable number. And then uh, then it goes on to explain an experiment that they did and uh, they determined that links on the upper, situated in the t up, uh, up top part of their page had more importance than links that are ranked uh, lower on the page. And all of this to kind of explain how search engines work. So through these methods, patient and last experiments, uh, search marketers, the community can come to understand the basic operations of search engines. So that's really, uh, they get, chapter one gives you a kind of a look on how search engines work. So I'd highly recommend it. And then my next video will be about chapter two. Stay with it, stay well, I hope this has been helpful, and then we'll talk to you soon.